I'm not sitting here advocating for the people that are hit, murdering, shooting. No, they're the smaller part of my population. Tom Dart is an unusual sheriff. He thinks the majority of inmates in his jail shouldn't be there, and he's fighting to get them released. He's the sheriff of Cook County, Illinois, which includes the city of Chicago, and he runs the Cook County Jail. What you're saying is pretty radical, though, especially to hear it from you. It's very rare to hear the person who's running the jail system say, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know, I know. And I think it's part of it is because I'm in a unique position where I can see it, having been a prosecutor before, never been confused with being a bleeding heart liberal. But to sit there and say there's no logic to this, it makes no sense. It's not treating people as individuals, not treating them as humans, it's treating them as just numbers and that as really just for getting people out of our hair, we'll just push them in here and just ignore them. It's like, oh, you can't do that. Dart wants to change the system so jails like his aren't just a dumping ground for the poor, the desperate, and the mentally ill. The Cook County Jail is the largest single jail site in the United States with an average daily population of 9,000 people. Anyone from violent offender to somebody arrested for trespassing is brought here and held until they can make bail. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. We visited the Cook County Jail to see firsthand how the system works. First up is what they call intake. 37. Just come with your hand behind your back. Anyone arrested in Cook County the day or night before is brought here into a holding area where they're waiting to be processed. So in terms of what the, the crimes they're charged with, what, what sort of things happened I think last it, night? Uh, a lot of drug cases, uh, possessions, a straight possession. A guy got stopped on the street for whatever reason, stopped in the car and had a small amount of you know, heroin, you know, coke on him. Mostly it's heroin these days. A uh, lot of retail thefts, guys you know, stealing you know, very small items. It's these kind of misdemeanors which account for many of the arrests in Cook County, and more than 75% of the jail population is African American. The larger part are the people that are here for drug offenses, small property crimes, and we have to have a more thoughtful way of approaching that, and not just saying, you know, um, someone stole a, uh, a, a can of beer, we're gonna throw them in here for 300 days. Uh, somebody broke into a place to sleep, we're going to throw them in here for 150 days. A lot of the, the trespassing charges you see is somebody breaking into an abandoned building to sleep To there. sleep. To sleep. And we're not talking about people who are breaking into people's homes. No. We're talking about people that are breaking into places to sleep, breaking into some place to get out of the cold. The U.S. has one of the highest rates of incarceration of any industrialized country. Nationwide, there are 2.2 million inmates. The prison population here increased by 500 percent over the past 30 years. The massive rise due mainly to laws that imposed extended sentences even for low-level drug possession. Who's next out of four? Today, nearly half of all federal prisoners are drug offenders. Sheriff Dart says the laws haven't made us safer. Instead, it's only created a system where low-level offenders are locked up and then find it extremely difficult to find a job and housing once they're released. They go back to stealing, prostitution, crimes of survival, the sheriff calls them. What you hear from a lot of people here, too, is once they're in this cycle, it's very hard to get out of. Well, it's horribly hard to get out. I mean, once they, you know, they've done time, then they have a record, then they go out, then they have fewer ties to the community than they had before, their place to stay is gone, their relationship with their girlfriend or boyfriend is gone. It's a, Listen, you know, this, uh, I guess I'd feel uh, less upset about this if this was very complex and difficult to connect the dots. By and large, it's not. It, it really isn't. The heart of the illogic is really just rounding people up and holding them for really no thoughtful reason. It, it's not part of a plan. Sheriff Dart says the jail is also full of too many people who are mentally ill. He says they need treatment not time behind bars. The morning after we visited the jail, this severely mentally ill man was brought into intake and managed to climb into an air duct. The mental health professionals at Cook County Jail coaxed him down before he could hurt himself. All this captured on body cameras worn by correction officers. The sheriff's office tell us this is just one of many examples of how the jail has become a de facto asylum. How many people have mental health issues that come through here. It's, it's, 
it's, it's staggering and it's underreported because usually when we talk about like our number, we're referring to the number that I have in my custody, which is about 30%, which in my opinion. So about 30% of the people you have in custody have mental health issues. Oh, diagnose serious mental health issues, whether it's bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, runs gamut. The Cook County Jail houses the largest number of mentally ill in the country. Here they do receive treatment and medication, but Sheriff Dart says that's part of the problem. He says many of these men and women couldn't get access to medication on the outside, so they end up self-medicating with drugs on the street. Then when they're caught with drugs, they're simply sent to jail. I'm not like some guy who's unaware of how the system works. If you peel apart the case that brought him here, you sit there and say, well, the underlying reason is an illness. It's not a criminal we're dealing with here. But yet, our system doesn't seem to care, so we just dump everybody in here. This like, has become a dumping ground for, for people with mental illness. A dumping ground for people with mental illness and a dumping ground for a lot of poor people, too. In the minimum security part of the jail, we met Carzell. He was shy and nervous to talk to us, but he wanted to tell us his story. He's been using heroin for more than 30 years and says he's been arrested a staggering 83 times, all for nonviolent offenses. So what were you what were you arrested for this time? Uh, simple possession. Possession. Uh, possession of heroin? Uh, heroin. One bag. One bag. So what kind of a sentence did you get? I had that um, first they offered me one year. Corzell has mostly been arrested for drug possession, sometimes shoplifting, sometimes trespassing. While in jail, he says he's lost his home and his girlfriend. Just being in here kind of back and forth must make having a regular life hard. I mean, it's like a cycle, it seems like. Yeah, I do. I'm tired of getting, I'm tired of coming through here. Like, once you're in the system, you're in it, you know what I'm saying? And what do you mean? The police is in the area, they... They know you. Right, they know you. They, you know, just lock you up at random when they want to at times. So. so you feel like once you're in the system, it's hard to get out of the system? Yes, sir. 